What's, What's up, YouTube, YouTube family? family? Welcome, Welcome back, back to our channel. channel. It's Carly Sam. You already know it's your boy Sam. We are currently not in Atlanta. We are currently in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, we're going to be staying here for like a month or so. So, you know, this is going to be our main setup where we're going to be doing our food right now. <laughs> reviews right here. So, you know, just want to let y'all know. So we have Peruvian food, as y'all can already see from the title. We have a lot of different things to try, drinks and some stuff in here. If y'all have any other recommendations of um, different foods for us to try, definitely make sure y'all comment down below. But before we start this video, we do want to give another post notification shout out to... Sam Fex. We appreciate you. We love yes, you. Thank you. You commented on our latest video, I believe, when we were One of our vlogs. Vlogging. Yeah. Definitely make sure y'all stay tuned to our vlogs because they really are dope and they really are cool and we definitely get kind of a little bit more personal on those. So definitely make sure I check them out um, just to get a little bit more. Yeah. Get to know us a little bit more. But shout out to you, Sam Fex. Thank you for always commenting and thank you for being a part of the Carlisa and Sam family. Yeah, yeah. We need something like to be like a type of family name. I don't feel like that sounds right. Carlisa and Sam, I don't know. Comment below. Should we? You know, we gotta, we gotta you have a certain. Name? We gotta have a certain type of name. You wanna change know. your name? Something? I don't know. I like Carly Sanson. I know, but that doesn't sound right for a family though. Comment below if you think we should change our name, and if so, comment or below what you want, something. or yeah, abbreviate something. Yeah. But all right, y'all. So let's. It's enough talking. Let's just get right into this video. Let's, let's go. go. Chinese first. Okay, so this one is the Chica Morada or something like that. Let me see. I got it on um, my phone. And what's what's in here? So what's in her drink? What's called the yeah Chicha yeah. Morada? It's a Peruvian Chica. purple corn cinnamon clove pineapple apple limes drink. That's a All lot of stuff right. in one drink. That's All a right, lot. And also, my nails look disgusting right now. The, the nail polish is all over the place. I haven't even, we just got over here within like, what, a couple hours, a couple hours ago, ago? Not yeah, even that yeah. long ago. So I haven't even had time to get right, okay? So don't be talking stuff. So over here, what I'm sipping on, look at that stuff, all that, y'all. I'm sipping on the her herbal. Ew, what is in this again? Peruvian purple corn, cinnamon, clove. Pineapples, apples, and limes. I don't know about this. What I'm this sipping is, on. This is too much. <laughs> what I'm sipping on, I got the herbal limeade. It's with lime, basil, rosemary, and mint. If you're Peruvian, comment down below and let us know if this is what I drink. I mean, I'm not saying it's nasty. It's just a little bit too much for me. But I mean, I think I can get used to it. Oh but do y'all really drink these drinks? Because you know, like, we're in America, so I just want to make sure this is correct. Babe, you're going to love this. Oh this one is a little, God. like, I don't know, spicy. So remember I told y'all, there's mint in there. There's lime, mint, and what else? The mint rosemary. over, yeah, rosemary, and uh, basil. The lime, no, the mint definitely overtakes every taste. Oh, yeah. But that mint is some and good stuff. rosemary, I could taste it. That I is like good. I like this one better. Taste that one. I'm scared for this one. Oh, it's that. <laughs> that's what I was saying. It's not really. You have to taste it again because that's how I was a couple times. It's like you almost taste tastes like prune juice at the no, end. No, it doesn't. It tastes like cinnamon something. I can't. It's too much it cinnamon. Tastes, it tastes weird. Mm. This one's not that bad. That would I don't be very know. Good, I'm not really... Like super cold. Like more cold. Yeah, I don't know. But they're good. I'm just not, not this, used to. This one's way better than that one. Yeah, that one is. Yeah. This right here, we actually have um, the rotisserie uh, Peruvian style chicken. Mm -hmm. And then we also got um, the all white chicken. Excuse me. We did try, um, we have their yuca. And then we have their version of cilantro rice. Alright, so this is the rice, y'all. Y'all know we always have to get rice. Always. Really not a big fan of the vegetables and stuff. Y'all know that. But I don't know why. It's always like that. Smells good. Looks good. That's the rice. Got the fried you got. Guys, it literally looks like big french fries. Looks like uh, mozzarella sticks. <laughs> That's what it really does. Honestly. <laughs> These are going to be the sauces that we got. You know, we love sauces always. So, this is going to be the least uh, hottest one, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, it's going to be the yellow one. We did forget the name. So, we're going to put them on the screen right here. And then we also got a green one. This is going to be the middle one. I don't even know what's in it. I'm sorry. Ugh. It looks good though. Okay, this is going to be the hottest one. I believe so. It don't look hot, but it, 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 I guess it is. Ugh. 
This it's looks going to be the hottest one. Okay, so I'm going to try these with the yuca. So okay. You get the yuca. No, I'm going to try green sauce with the yuca. And y'all, I actually am starting to like yuca. Like, so many different places have yuca, and we've tried it so many different ways. This is this is the most different uh, yuca that we see. They're seen. all different. The other ones were the just Brazilian yellow. Ones, yeah, the Brazilian ones, the one. Cuban ones. Yeah. So this is the least. It looks like a cheese sauce almost. Looks like a hanging mustard. Or Italian dressing. Ooh. That one's good. That don't, that just has a little hint of spice to it. And it's, it's perfect. It's just like... Mmm. I don't know. It's like a Italian dressing, but like... With, uh... Like, creamy. With what's, the, like, what's the spice? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's good, though. I like, like y'all, we really be trying to... Nail down like what they taste like and stuff so we can tell you guys but like some of these tastes be just hard to say or describe I don't know I don't know I don't know maybe like onion garlic and onion tomato, garlic something I don't know a little bit of tomato I don't know off to the next off one to the next so this is the second hottest right here this is definitely cilantro mm -hmm. you make this all the time cilantro onion garlic some type of pepper or something. Mm -hmm. Definitely pepper. The little bit. I love the little bits and pieces of cilantro in there. I just, yeah, this I is definitely cilantro. This is good. This would taste really good with tostones. Those would be super good. Let's move on to the hottest, hottest sauce right here. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of hot stuff. She is over here. Alright. Why are you putting the hat? Don't put it on the table. Uh, Alright, hottest one. Oh no. I don't feel like it's that hot as that girl made it seem. It's not hot it at all. It is a little spicy. It's spicy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it I, kicks I feel in, in like I the middle. It it's it's Ooh, like, yeah, uh, yeah. mid taste. It like almost tastes like some of the spices get caught in your throat. <laughs> it's like sticking my throat. I don't know about these drinks, though. It tastes like I'm eating a plant. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> I'm that one's being, definitely we're just spicy, being though. honest, y'all, because some people, some of y'all take this, like, very, very serious. We don't want you guys to take this, like, like, we're trying, like, we're being rude or anything. No, we're yeah, honest, we're, like, we're you giving know, you we the ear. Yeah, we can't, this is just stuff that we've never tasted before, so we don't want y'all to feel like we're, you know, being disrespectful or anything. We're just really, just naturally being us. From all of the sauces, this the one The yellow one is good. Favorite. I like all of them, though. I actually like all of them. The yellow one was definitely my favorite. Yeah, I do like the yellow one. I like all of them. Let me mix them. Alright, let's move on to this chicken, baby. They call this a one-fourth piece of a chicken. So it's going to be like a rotisserie. Mm. Oh, that looks good. Y'all, this makes me feel bad, though. Why? I don't like to see the chicken, like, with the bones. Like, yeah, she, like I'm telling y'all, if y'all really know her, this woman right here, she loves animals. Like, animals, know, yeah, but everything. It's just, Birds, it's just, ants. It's just, I've just been raised with eating chicken, so... A little hard to stop. <laughs> it's gonna come a day where I don't eat anything animals, but it's all right. Oh yeah, we have a fork. Oh, all right, fork. Mm -mm. Or did you, you just, I'm just hungry. Mm. So I'm gonna dip it. This is what the chicken looks like. This it is looks good. very juicy. Mm. And it was rotisserie, right? I'm just like, rotisserie chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. That is good. Yeah. All right. Let me. Uh. Oh. No, no, no joke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no joke. That is some good stuff. Y'all, this is just like, look at how it's just coming right off. Like, this is really nice and soft. Oh let me get this sauce. Gosh. If you don't mind, let me eat the rest of the yellow sauce. No, please. I want it. I don't know why she didn't give us more than one. Mmm. Like, mm. it's like that candy that you just eat over and over and over. Like, No, it's not. <laughs> I don't eat candy over and over. You know what I mean. But no. this, this chicken, oh, I could eat this all day. No, I took Breakfast, dinner. Look at that, y'all. Look at the pieces. This is killing the uh, Walmart rotisserie chicken. But Walmarts do be good, though. So I'm not even You said the Walmart chicken? Walmart, the lemon pepper chicken, the rotisserie chicken in the middle. Those are good. It's a meal ready to go. Get you some rice, some mashed potatoes. But y'all, the skin is good. Mm -hmm. The the It's so just tender, it's juicy. It's flavorful. Everything is just in one. And, yeah. and that's that chicken. That's that is some good yeah. 
chicken. This is it's not gonna be wasted, I promise. Mmm. We're gonna get back to this chicken. Let's try this rice. There's peas in it. That's what I said. I don't like why why? Y'all yeah, like why is there peas I'm speaking in the to rice? You guys for the Latino culture. I understand, you know, a lot of other people like vegetables in their rice. I understand. Why is there peas in there? Not peas. It's it's good just with nothing. It's good with I mean, nothing. but people like to have it. Not the peas, mm -mm. though. Not peas. You almost made me get a pea. Right. A pea? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes like Chinese rice. It does. It does. That's it does. crazy. It's like Chinese rice. Ow. It's a type of rice. It's, it's cilantro. And it looks well, like jazz. It's probably jasmine rice. That's what they be cooking, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously you see the vegetables, but there's some cilantro in there. Mm -hmm. And mmm, it's, it's good. Yeah. Good texture. Mmm. Mm. He said, mmm. This is good. No, nah, this is good. Rice is really, really good. No, nah, everything. I would give finished. everything like a ten out of ten so far. Mm -hmm. Even the, not even the sauces. The sauces are yeah. good. It's just these drinks. Mm. I don't know about those. Put the rice over here. Well, yeah, now take it back to this this only. Um, that was. Uh, so, guys, you know the Latino culture. We have the tres leches. Yes, a lot. So, that's what we have got. They only had tres leches or churros. So, did not want a churro. Excuse me. Yeah, we didn't want a churro, so we did want to just try the tres leches. You want to show my clothes? Oh. You got it? No, yeah. I it. It's tight. They made sure you don't steal this. Wow. Did you yeah. get it? Yeah. Oh got, my god. I got it all. Right, so, so this is their tres leches. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. You see the milk? It said, it said three milk. It said three layers of milk in here. Yeah, that's what tres leches, that's what tres leches is. How do you say it? How do you say it? Tres leches? Tres, tres leches. leches? Yeah. Tres. Tres. Where's the H? Tres. Yeah, where's the H? There's no H. It's T R E S. Yeah, I'm speaking, sticking to English. Make sure you get some milk in there too. I did. All right, go. That's some good shit. Damn. That's some. I and I don't know what kind of milk they put in here, but I know you get put the condensed milk and some mm -hmm. other milk. That's some good cake. That's the best one I had. I knew you were going to say that. That's the best one. It's not the best I had. No. Which one? What other cake did you have that's better than that one? That is good. You like that. That was good. I like, I'm not going to lie. I like Papa Cito's better. Oh my gosh. I like it better. I do. If y'all don't know what Papa Cito's are, it's down here. In Atlanta, Georgia, it's a what? Uh, a fine dime. Mexican it's like a four-star um, Mexican uh, restaurant. She yeah. loves everything from there, but mm -hmm. I guess that tres leches is better than this tres leches. It definitely this is. This is my favorite tres leches right now. That's good. I like the cream. The this one's the cake. more. Um, it's more flavorful. You can't even lie. It's it's good. This one's more you like... You can taste every... Guys, you can taste everything on here in one bite. You got the milk, you got the cake, you got the cream, you can just taste it all together. First bite. Mm. I don't know how to explain it. Mm. It's like more... I think it's more flavorful. Jello-y. The other ones, like, no, the other ones were too jello-y and too rubberish. That's no, what I, I didn't like about it. I don't know. No, it's good. I'm not saying it's not good. I just I like it. I like it. That was everything. It wasn't too much. We wasn't trying to These restaurants that we go to really They're like small. They they're they're like yeah, small they have restaurant. options but like we're not gonna order this piece of chicken, this chicken, this chicken, you know, like we just wanna get, you know, the variety, the pop most popular things really. We don't like to waste food. We don't wanna get all that food and it's not gonna get eaten. Guys, I really wish you were here. I would share a piece with you. Not me. Mm. <laughs> Do you mean? 
Uh-uh. But appreciate you guys watching another food review. Make sure y'all comment below any other type of food that y'all would like us to try. Or if y'all like a part two of anything and, and you have like a suggestion that you would like us to try from that certain type of culture. You know, we're all, always willing to do that. We're thinking about doing like a part two to like a Jamaican or, that, yeah. or certain ones that y'all were really interested in. So we're definitely looking forward to doing that. And we're going to be doing a lot more food reviews now that we're here in North Carolina. Um... We're kind of just really chilling out here, so it's not too much of a vlogging part. But um, we're definitely going to start pushing some more food reviews out um, with different cultures. So make sure I stay tuned. Definitely. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see y'all in the next one. We love Come you on. guys.